I'm going over the Lions at the Texans. Right now, the spread is minus three and a half. The over-under is 49. Damn, that's the so Lions cool. are incredible. They're a fucking wrecking ball. Their last nasty. five games. Shout out Dan Orlowski. He had this post earlier in the week. Their last five games, 196 points scored. What's 196 divided by five, Delaney? I do not know. 39.2. They're scoring about 40 points per game. You didn't know. You they've didn't allowed, know they've allowed only 95. And again, it's not against like bad defenses. They put up 31 on the Vikings. The Titans have the number one defense in the league. They put up 50, what was it, 50 plus 57? A lot of that turnovers in special teams, but yes. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, but yeah, I'm with you. Either, either way, position. You got this it. is a team that hazes you. Like in high school, you got a senior class. They haze the freshmen. They strip them down butt naked. They tape them to a pole. They take pictures for everybody to laugh at you. That is the Lions. They would beat the Chiefs by two scores right now. Oh, nice. I, I don't see the line right now is minus three and a half with the Lions at Houston. Houston, I mean, they have the injuries that they have. Like, this line, this line's weird because it's minus three and a half, but the Lions are just on a different level, bro. They're on a different level. But Yeah, they are, but they're in the NFC. So, you got to think about the teams that's in the NFC right now that are fucking amazing as well. You got the Falcons. You got Washington. You got San Francisco. They got to go through those guys to even get to the Chiefs. You get what I'm saying? The yeah. Lions would run through them right now. Right now. Right now. Right and now. right now yeah. we're betting on this game at Houston. They're gonna run through them. Yeah, not, hey, Houston. Not a long flight. Yeah, two. They're number one and number two receiver for Houston Texans. They're out. out. They're not playing the game. Yeah. It is a tough situation in Houston. I have no idea what the lines the way it is. I, I think I Jared Goff. Ball, Jared Goff's think... playing incredible. Like who, he sure is. They have everybody on offense. Yeah. yeah. Now, obviously the defense they give up. their you know their lower bottom. Bottom third in the league with giving up pass yards, but I mean they're they're up on every team. Every team has to throw the ball against them. Right. Yeah. And this team, like, they have all the chips on their shoulder. They got a, a, a player led coaching staff. True. Very true. They have all the dogs oh. on that team. Like I, I don't see them. I don't. Something see about them. sitting in uh, during our camp tour when we got to see them in Detroit. The the level of like stoic confidence that that team has walking around with their offensive lines incredible their receivers are great they have a young tight end who kills it jared, jared goff who consistently has a chip on his shoulder but he's still a guy's guy and then you have a defense that's flying around aiden hutches and breaks his leg a couple of weeks ago and who is you know he, he's he's the great white hope for the for yeah. the state of michigan right went to michigan gets picked two defensive overall player of the lines. year from Bro, michigan yeah, yeah. kills it like putting up numbers that we have not seen before yeah and he goes down and they don't it doesn't even skip a beat it's like a next man up mentality Dan Campbell has those guys in a position to feel so great about their future. If they can stay healthy, I think they're the team to beat for the Super Bowl. Yeah, I, I mean, agree. I think yeah. that too. I just but want to see what they do in the playoffs. Here, here's the point they're the that best team me. in the league right now. Yeah, but in the playoffs, shit changes. Shit changes. There's no doubt about, about it. But playoffs, still, bro, right I'm now. telling you, like Dan Campbell does not operate like that. He's not a cat that lets the boys fall asleep at the wheel with it when you have the first, uh, a bye week going into playoffs. The only thing that scares me is when Will Compton starts to talk nasty about the Chiefs. That is the only thing as a team, we as, as a league, we have to worry about. If you don't want the Chiefs to win, you need to silence Will Compton on the Chiefs' hate. Yeah, Every mean, time Will starts talking about the Chiefs, what happens? They win. They fucking win. And they ain't playing great their football, time, but they their, winning. Their time is coming. <sighs> They're a good football team. It's a good ball club. They're undefeated. They're a great Undefeated. Team. Undefeated. They find ways to win. Regardless. Every time. Regardless and, of but they're not touchdowns the best team in the league right now. But they about to be. D-Hop is showing out right now. D-Hop too. is going nuts. <laughs> He's going Which, crazy. And if you're a Titans fan, you got to feel sick about that. <laughs> and then he did the not, remember not, the Titans. Not really. you got to like, feel sick, dude. you got yeah, to. Yeah, but you, you don't have Mahomes a quarterback. Yes, bro. Yeah, but, but you still. have... Calvin, you have Calvin Ridley also right next to you, who you have to worry about as a defense. You have Chicken Conqua, who is a young little Delaney Walker, and you have two backs that are can, can catch the ball in the backfield and Damn. are quick twitch cats. Yeah. You have all that, and DeAndre Hopkins goes over the Chiefs and balls the way he did. DeAndre Hopkins should have had the ball in his hands in a lot more ways. A lot way, than a it, lot would, more. it would not been difficult for a quarterback to give him to. So true. But they also they, the Titans don't have Andy Reid. That, I yes, mean, I, I mean, I we'll give that. you that. I'll give you that. Yeah, we got to trade for Andy Reid in Nashville. That's what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you another, leave? another head coach Love trade Callahan. since Love John Callahan. Bruce. We can trade for Andy Reid. Let's get that <laughs> trade Reed, done as quick as possible. 13 years right? in Kansas City. You think he going to leave Kansas City? He's the mayor in Kansas City. I don't think he Big will. Red. I think we have a better chance of Marcus Mayo to be the, <laughs> the quarterback for the Titans, which we still all believe in, at least I do. Uh, my game of the weekend, I will be hitting the board for this a little bit, is going to be San Francisco, they're at the Bucks. San Francisco is fair by, by six and a half. Last week, they, uh, San Francisco held an extra practice for one reason and one reason only. 
for Christian McCaffrey to see of if he course. can go. That is the biggest thing going on right now. We all saw Debo Samuel a couple weeks ago goes to the hospital with pneumonia. His lungs are filling up like a bottle of water pressing under the pool, just watching the bubbles come up. The guy's basically drowning. They take him to the hospital. They pull that shit out. The boy catches for uh, six receptions for 70 yards last week. Mm-hmm. He's starting to operate. George Kittle is coming. now is coming. I think coming, he had 145 right. yards receiving, mm-hmm. and now you're getting CMC back this week. He's healthy. He's feeling good. We got a we got a big thing coming. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna hit the board again. Let's do it. Board talk. Board, board talk. talk. They also got that one receiver coming, number 15. Jennings. Jennings. Yeah, He's yeah. coming back this week too. Yeah. Woo. They get, they getting healthy. So we look at this right here. We're thinking to ourselves, Taylor, where's the defensive fronts? That's not the point of this whole thing. We're talking about Kyle Shanahan and his brilliant mind and how he takes a lot of plays, makes them look the same, but they're different every single time. This first, these are this is three different formations in three different drives. This is the first drive of the game. So what we did here is H uh, F on a motion goes. They're running a play called truck. So basically, that means a pin pull, uh, pin pull scheme. Ball snap, tackles pulling, someone's blocking down on the end, and they're trying to get that. This play does not go for a whole lot of yards, but when you have this motion, now you have eyes from the defense all looking this way. So that play goes. The next series, we're looking somewhat similar, but now the H is just on the opposite side. Hit the motion with the Y. This is George Kittle. This turns into essentially a force play, as if the Y was here in the beginning, they'd be in a triple to the Mike linebacker. But this time they're bringing the Y, and now we have a man reach by the tackle. The Y is coming from the inside essentially turning into a triple on the move, hitting that outside zone play to the left again. Now a third series. So the, both these plays go for under four yards. You think as an, as an OC, what you wanna do is you wanna get away from those types of things, not Kyle Shanahan. Now we have two, two backs in the backfield. The F before the snap motions out, getting the eyes to go, and the Y now motions and runs right before the snap. Then the H comes, they're showing the run like they did in the last two series, making the whole defense with their eyes look to the left. It is now a play we like to call at the Titans. It's called Lucy, which essentially means you're taking five hard steps as an offensive line. You're settling and recreating a new pocket. The quarterback is going to fake the handoff and then set up behind the right the right guard and the right tackle. And then there's a lot of soft cushion with the zone coverage for the receivers to have an X play downfield. And that's exactly what happens with Christian McCaffrey. So you have Jordan Mason, who's been the backup. He's played very well for Christian McCaffrey while he's been uh, getting his two Achilles all figured out. This, These two plays look a whole lot better with CMC in the backfield, and it's a lot scarier for this defense. I think a lot more in the zone coverage opens up. I think we have a big blowout coming for San Francisco. They're going to start operating in a way where maybe in a couple of weeks that's the team to beat over the Detroit Lions. Oh, it's also, what you said, it's great that uh... – Christian is coming back because Jordan got hurt last, the last week. Even though they had a bye, he had time to recover, but he still took an injury. Uh, had to go in the locker room at, against the Cowboys. Yeah. And they was going with a third stream uh, running back. I, I want to say true rookie uh, was out there putting in work too, yeah. though. Getting after it. Six and a half points is a lot. That is a lot. The Bucks too. can score. That's a lot. That Bucks is a can lot. score. But I don't think you got to overthink it. I Trump, mean, you got Trump Mike, just got Mike Evans out. Chris Godwin, like I know, there's they, a lot. Yeah. This, this, this is as simple as <laughs> this is, say Trump just got yeah. This is as simple as Trump just got elected. The, the San Francisco 49ers are going to come more alive than ever. You got Bosa rocking the hat. You got CMC coming back. Brock Purdy at quarterback. Trump was talking about Brock Purdy on the podcast. Yeah, this is this is Niners yeah, minus six was. and a half all day long. I like that. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I just don't think you got to <laughs> overthink it. Yeah, yeah. Just don't fair overthink enough. it. Fair enough. Fair enough.